Hey, Aldi here. Made of tears. And I have a long overdue garden update. Oh, my garden's pretty sad. Um, and I've had a month worth of weeds that I've had to try to tackle. So it's a mess, and I apologize. And oh, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so I gotta try to knock this garden update and there's a lot to go over since my last update but the uh, street light is on so it's gonna be dark soon I'll try to do as much of the update as I can and I guess uh, anything I don't get to I'll have to wait for the next one or I'll put pictures in or something um, so I've been out oh every afternoon it's just way too hot during the daytime um so i've been out in the evenings come out in the afternoon and uh try to pull weeds see that mess there that whole garden look like that so i've made a lot of progress still a long ways to go all right let's get to it Okay, this was my main project right here, putting in my Silver Queen corn, and uh, I was out here till, <laughs> I don't know, 11 o'clock last night, <clears throat> clearing this out and getting this ready, and then you'll see there are some beans in there, and I'm going to leave those, and I did plant some at this end in between the corn to help feed nitrogen into the soil because corn is a heavy nitrogen feeder. I'm slowly removing, hang on, I'm slowly getting rid of my ever-bearing strawberries because this is their third year, so their output's not going to be much later on in the season and the plants after three years they're pretty well exhausted you need to put fresh ones in or um, out with the old and keep the new sprouts or shoots or runners they're called right there you can see some I discarded and I've got a compost pile going over there where I'm probably gonna do my um, winter squash or spaghetti squash might put watermelon over there I'm not sure and uh, Babette, this is your Jerusalem artichokes. My son was going to try to help while I was gone, and he weed eated and he whacked them down. I am guessing, because they grow under the ground, that they might be okay. And then over here I do have some Chantonay uh, carrots from Laura. Oh, and I can't remember her new channel name. Doggone. Some zinnias. Some weeds. <laughs> My nasturtiums are finally up. Those don't look real well. I gotta get the seeds out and there's a volunteer. I have tons of volunteer marigolds and um, other flowers and tomatoes. Just tomatoes all over the place. That is a volunteer, and I'm going to leave it in hopes that it's a honey delight. The little, uh, little bitty yellow, they're not pears, they're round like a cherry tomato, but they're yellow, and oh my gosh, the flavor is so good. And old strawberries, and marigold, uh, gladiolas, volunteer, and all the way around my garden. You will see I've done straw around the edge and I also have, when I originally weeded, I threw the weeds there and then I threw the straw on top. Try to keep the edge clean. Um, my pathetic onions and single garlic. This is my uh, burgundy okra, red okra. And I do have a couple baby okras on there. Woohoo! And a couple over there. But look at my tomatoes. Those are early girls. 
and then right behind it there that is my Juliet which is a miniature Roma tomato and then I have Jetstar back there these are my black eyed peas I guess they're also known as cow peas and I did cage them because last year I found that they vined and clung and then I have oh a red bell or is that a cayenne red bell volunteer marigold zinnias this is my <clears throat> Clemson okra and I do believe I have a couple little okras in there no flowers yet but I'm getting okra so yeah I'm not sure how that'll work my peas have burnt up my little sweet peas green peas and they've got a couple pods on there but yeah and I have a green pepper bell pepper and right here is my jalapenos no heat jalapenos just flavor and I did top prune those so I would get a good harvest again this year right here is my lemon boys yellow tomatoes this one is my Mr. Stripey and no tomatoes on it yet there are a few flowers oh that one's a mess like I said a month behind and I have parsley volunteer tomatoes marigolds oops some cucumbers I've been picking cucumbers like crazy and I have two different varieties apparently and I do not like this variety that might be a Boston um, cucumber which I don't care for and here is some more cucumbers here these are the pickling cukes um, irregular watering is supposedly what causes odd shapes here is my dill and some nasturtiums bean marigolds all along the edge that fell during last night's storm um, night before last a lot of stuff was knocked over and I had to come out and we had 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. My asparagus went to seed and I didn't notice but there were a few more asparagus stems that came up but they're probably too tough to even fool with. Yeah, it's gonna have a hard time focusing. Um, gladiolas. This is my big beautiful lemon mint. And I tried planting blanket flower from seeds that I saved all around the front. Yeah, nothing. Dill from seed. And I will use my dill for pickling. This is lemongrass. You will notice, oops, sorry about the finger. You will notice that I do a lot of lemon herbs. Lemon thyme, lemon basil, lemongrass, lemon mint. And if anybody knows the difference between catnip, bee balm, and lemon mint, let me know. Um, I do know catnip does not have the very vibrant lemony fragrance that the lemon mint. And my poor sunflowers, um, they were all knocked over, so I'm trying to salvage them. I may have to start again from seed to get into the challenge. <coughs> is a bunch of marigolds, volunteers. Um, not sure what this tomato plant is going to be. And there's several over there and a couple more over there that are volunteers. But let me show you. And then it's going to be too dark and I will just, I'm not even going to edit this. I'm going to run it as it is. This is my Juliet's. And that is one plant, and it has tomatoes up to here. 
Oh, there's some more over there on that side of the plant. So it is one plant, but look at that. And I bottom prune all the leaves off the bottom. And then as they grow up, I prune more leaves off and they put out again up here. And I keep pruning from the bottom and then some of my sucker shoots I'll let grow and some of them I will prune off. There's my early girls. And there's quite a few on the vine. There's another four there. One there. A couple more up there. And it looks like a critter was munching on that one. Oh, some jet star on the vine here. I've never had jet star. Those look like an heirloom variety. The leaves and the shape of the tomatoes. And there's a lot of tomato blooms all over. Um, the lemon, my lemon boys have tomatoes on the vine all the way up. And I only have two of those. However, I brought one of the yellow, oh, it's a yellow tomato that uh, my uncle in North Carolina, I brought one of those home. Right there's a volunteer. Here is my two zucchini. That one I thought died and it's making a comeback. It was down to absolutely nothing before I left. So and this one has a few baby zucchini on there. But they didn't pollinate, so I'm going to have to get out here and probably pollinate them when they flower, because I don't see any flowers on them. Very odd. Hmm. No flowers. So, this is the garden tour. And as you see, everything is blown over. Um... So it is what it is. This is 10 minutes, so I'm off here. I will probably insert some pictures. Very pretty marigolds. And I will be seed saving again this year. And I'll mail out some seeds to anybody who would like some. Mycenaeus. So uh, you all have a beautiful evening, beautiful weekend. Do a random act of kindness for a stranger. Remember our boys and girls deployed around the world who can't be home. As always, think of it.